try to skate as often as possible, and usually just the local skate park. My name's Rhianne Evans, I'm 22 years old. Um, I'm originally from Bournemouth, but I've been living in Brighton now for the last two years for university. And um, I've been skating for about uh, seven, eight years maybe? I don't know, you lose track. <laughs> Why I started getting into skating is probably because my brother used to rollerblade and he used to like force me to come down the skate park and watch him. A lot of his friends at the time they skateboarded and I just thought skateboarding looked so much cooler than rollerblading. Oh, I can't wait to skate this deck. I haven't had a new board in ages. I think skateboarding is probably empowering for women. You know, it gives you confidence and you grow as a person through skating. I know it sounds a bit cheesy, but you do. I think skateboarding has definitely changed like my social life completely. I wouldn't have met any of the people that I'm friends with if I didn't skateboard. Uh, like the majority of my friends are skateboarders. It's just a really good community, and I'm like I'm really glad that I I did start skating for that reason. I can see girls skateboarding really expanding. Even in the past few years, it's expanded so much. When I first started skateboarding, there was hardly any girls around really to skate with. You start off just like lurking around with your mates or like? No, I literally went straight to oh, the skate park. Oh, you went And I used to go down okay. quite early. I, I felt like, quite intimidated mm. by people like to begin with. So when I first started, I'd get down there at like, in the morning, I think it was the oh earliest I ever went there. Most of the time it was probably only like eight, nine, yeah. but the skate park would be empty. And then I'd just like practice like with like two of my mates that were like my age at the time. I think I kind of look up to all the girls in skateboarding in a way. Like even, even like people that maybe haven't been skating as long as me, because I think I'm just stoked that someone else, you know, I'm stoked that someone's trying so hard to land something. It's a, it's a personal struggle for anyone. So I think I can very much appreciate for anyone, like, anyone's struggle. But at the same time, there are a few girls in America that I am a bit of, like, obsessed with, like, their videos, like, uh, Nora Vasconcelos, um, she's on Welcome Skateboards, and she's, she's got a really good attitude about skateboarding, just really fun and doesn't really care. Wow. How do you feel about skateboarding in the Olympics? I think it will push the women's skate scene faster. I don't think anyone in skateboarding really understands this whole Olympic thing. I, there's no information, like no one's really given us like any idea of what's going on. We're going to be seeing girls in like Tokyo, Japan and China and stuff like that. We're going to be able to expand like our knowledge on, on girls skateboarding and just boy skateboarding as well. So yeah, it's definitely going to bring a lot of culture I think into skateboarding. I like to listen to a lot of different music when I skate. It really depends what mood I'm in. And I find I skate differently, like depending on what I listen to. Skating makes me happy, I guess. Like if I haven't skated in a while, I do get stressed out almost. And then when I do go for a skate, like I start to feel a bit like myself again. Everyone's like a lot more um, connected now with like Instagram and all these like social medias. Everyone's like all the videos of everyone's online kind of keeps you up to date of like what people are doing, you know, what tricks people have got and it's, it's inspirational I think for a lot of young girls like and that's why it's going to become a bigger thing. <laughs>